The point is to identify carrier couples so that they can have healthy families. My name is Shivani Nazareth and I am a genetic counselor. I have a master's degree in human genetics and I am certified by the American Board of Genetic Counseling. Patients are typically referred to a genetic counselor where there is suspicion that they may be at risk of having a child with a genetic disease. So traditionally, genetic counseling is done in two sessions. The first session is to discuss the various testing options. Usually a follow-up session is to go over the results. During a genetic counseling session, we take a detailed interview documenting up to three generations of family history information. That information is then used to calculate reproductive risks and make genetic testing recommendations. The test is done on a sample of blood and typically takes about two weeks. It's reported in an extensive written report and should be interpreted by a genetic counselor or a medically trained professional. Carrier screening is useful for couples of all different ethnic backgrounds. There are diseases that are more common to people of different ethnicities. Two members of a couple are identified as carriers of the same disease. They face a 25% risk or a 1 in 4 chance with every pregnancy to have a child with that disease. Currently there are 19 diseases that are more prevalent in the Ashkenazi Jewish community. For genetic screening purposes, being Jewish means having even just one Jewish grandparent. So you can be Jewish even though you don't necessarily practice the Jewish faith. These diseases do not occur only in the Jewish population. They are more prevalent in people of Jewish ancestry, but they have been found in families who have no known Jewish ancestry. About one out of every three people of Ashkenazi Jewish descent will be a carrier for one of the diseases on the panel. There are people of Jewish descent in the Sephardic or Mizrahi community. These people also have diseases that are more common to their ethnic group. These families have options, so they definitely can have healthy children as long as they know what their options are. The earlier they know, the better. While it is best to have both members of the couple screened at the same time, it is possible to screen each member of the couple individually. In this case, we would start with the person who has the greatest amount of Jewish ancestry, and if they are identified as a carrier of any of the diseases on the panel, we would then screen their partner. I have worked with families who unfortunately only learn of their carrier status after having a child with a genetic disease. This is difficult for many reasons, one of which is the amount of time, energy, and money spent just trying to figure out what is wrong. And sometimes by the time they figure out the diagnosis, they've already had a second child with the same disease. Ideally, the best time to pursue genetic screening is prior to conception. This allows couples to consider all of their options with time on their side.